righty, let's uh, get this show on the road, shall we? Oh, yo, hold up. What's your name? Hi. Actual fi uh, Finsky. Actual Finsky of the Na clan. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's see it. Let's see it, man. Actual Finsky. I see you. Oh, he got me with that one. Rock. All right. You got the first round. You got the first round. Good job. Good job. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. I'm at rocks. Oh, he's going caddy corner. Oh, with the paper. Dang, he got me. Good job, actual Finsky of the NAH clan. Shout out. GG's. You got me, man. St. Elmo's DPS build. You want 20 million DPS? 20. Weird. Hey, look, everyone. 20 million DPS. Done. You want, what, PvP? E, there we go. MVP. Let's go. The 70 round magazine is amazing. Hey, MVP. Let's go. Thank you. Give me that MVP. Let's go. Done. You want heroic countdown? You want, ch you know, challenging countdown? You want a build that can get you over 1.6 billion damage? 1.6 billion damage. 1.6 billion. Holy. Done. And you can do much more with this build. This is going to be my St. Elmo's DPS build that you can use in PvE or PvP content. It doesn't matter. And I will show you all of the uncut uh, gameplay at the end. So I hope you enjoy. But without further ado, let's uh, get over here and uh, hit you with that intro. I hope everyone is having a great day. Here we go. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to give you a St. Elmo's DPS build that you need to try out right now. This might hit harder than anything else you've uh, you've seen lately. So uh, without further ado, sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hit you with that build breakdown. All right, so here it is, soak it in. <sighs> ah, feels good, doesn't it? Because this build is a lot of fun. So this is my St. Elmo's DPS build. We are using Perfect Glass Cannon, Coyote's Mask, Vigilance, a whole bunch of amplified damage, multiplicative damage, and just pure out crit. Uh, this might be one of the most fun builds I've used in a long time. I have been using this non-stop in conflict PvP. So if you have been uh, playing you know, conflict in the last few days, I've probably been using this build. Uh, a majority of my gameplay is just me going ham in PvP and PvE. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm hitting for uh, 1.7 million per bullet in PvE. And in PvP, it's over a million per bullet. And that's with the St. Elmo's engine. But well, let's stop spoiling it. Let's talk about it. Starting off with the specialization. I am using the Sharpshooter specialization. Now, the reason being, uh, there's really no real reason. Uh, you can use whatever specialization you want, actually. Now, the only reason I personally am using it is just for the target acquisition, the stability, and weapon handling. Basically, just to help me laser beam this thing at long range. Because, uh, man, does this thing pack a punch. Now, I keep saying this thing. What am I talking about? Well, here's the star of the show. The St. Elmo's Engine. This is the brand new exotic assault rifle that has been introduced in year five of the Division Two. Now, how can you get this weapon? Well, it's fairly simple. Uh, during this season, if you go to the reward track and reach level 90, that is 9-0, you will receive this weapon right away. Now, for a lot of you that are like, yeah, I've already got one, but I dismantled it, I got rid of it, can I get another one? The answer is yes. And to prove that, I believe I have another one in my stash. There we go. I just got this one uh, yesterday out of a exotic cache. So you can get another one. 
just so you know. So if you accidentally deconstructed, dismantled, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can get another one during the season. Now, I know there's a lot of confusion about the uh, Ninja Bike and the Sacrum Imperium not being in the targeted loot, but that's not the case for the St. Elmo's engine. As long as you have gotten uh, to reach uh, level 90 in the season, picked up the weapon, you know, you have to have the blueprint. Now, remember, the devs did say that in the patch notes. You need to have the blueprint, and then you can get the weapon after that, guaranteed. Um, the rest is just based off of just pure RNG. All right, now back to the weapon. So the St. Elmo's engine. Now, this one is sitting at 115.3k total damage. Now, this is expertise level 21, so remember that. So this is 21% higher than normal, and it is 2% below max. So you can get this one up higher by 2%. Now the attributes, everything's maxed out, AR, health, and damage targets out of cover. Now remember, if you do have a St. Elmo's engine, you can change the bottom attribute. If you need me to make a video and show you step-by-step -step on how to do it, let me know. I can do that for you. I do have an extra one that I can re-roll however many times you guys want. Um, but just let me know in the comments. But this one, damage targets out of cover. Highly recommend to increase your overall base damage. Now, what makes this weapon so special is the talent Actum Est. So shooting an enemy will grant you a stack. And at 100 stacks, and when you reload, your magazine will then be filled with shock ammo so everything can be shocked and it is glorious especially against the hunters in countdown oh man is it fun headshotting hunters with shock ammo during countdown and i'll show you in the gameplay me doing that on challenging and heroic for uh for all of you uh pve people out there now for pvp i'll show you me going ham with that as well as far as my other weapons i'm not using them so I have my placeholders here. This one is the Slayer. It is your named holiday event item. And then for my sidearm backup boomstick with uh, close and personal. Now again, you can use whatever it is you want. Just tailor make it to your build style. I am only showing you what, you know, what I put together and then you can customize it however you want. Same with the specialization and the skills. It doesn't matter. But what does matter is the build itself. So, sitting at 821k armor, this is an all-red build. Now, just to eh, spoil you a little bit, we are sitting at 54 crit chance. Now, a lot of you might be like, yeah, but Kami, that's 6 off of max. What, what the hell are you doing, man? Um, I actually don't even want this much crit. I, I would prefer maybe 45 or, I don't know, may, maybe 50 would be max for me just because I'm using the Coyote's Mask, and I don't want to waste the Coyote's procs. And I think that at least 50%, you know, you could sit there at max for a majority, if not the entire time you're in engagement. Um, but remember, the cap for crit chance is at 60, but we are using the Coyote's Mask, which is a perfect segue for me to deep dive into this. This is your exotic mask that came with the game in year one. You were able to get this mask by killing Coyote at, I believe it was Jefferson Trade Center, and then it was added to the general loot later on. But the Coyote mask is one of the best masks to use in PvP and PvE. The reason being is it stacks. So any other people that are using this mask on your team will stack with yours. So if you're hitting an enemy from 0 to 15 meters and they're hitting from 15 to 25 meters, then you get both procs at the same time. Now, if you get three people shooting with the Coyote's Mask at the same time, you can get all three stacks, and then it's just straight banana pancakes the entire time because everyone's just critting everything at all times. It's just chaos. Um, but the talent is called Pack Instincts. So you and your allies will gain a bonus based off of the distance you shoot your enemy. So 0 to 15 meters, everyone gets 25% crit damage. 15 to 25 meters, everyone gets crit chance and crit hit damage at 10%. And then at 25 plus meters, for all you snipers and rifle people out there, everybody gets 25% crit chance. 
So this is the reason why I don't want that much crit chance because then half of these buffs are going to be wasted because I'm already at max. However, I can't help it because looking at all of these items, the only thing I would be able to do is actually to get something else to roll without crit chance because all of these I have rolled crit damage on here and uh, I can't lower the crit chance even if I wanted to. Now, back to the Coyote's Mask. Everything's maxed out. Weapon damage for the core. Crit chance, crit damage with a max crit damage mod. Going to the backpack. This might look different. Some people are running Walker. Some people are running Fenris. I am choosing Grupo. So Grupo will increase your crit hit damage. Now, remember, we are using the Coyote's Mask, which also increases our crit hit damage. And I just wanted those crit numbers to get as high as possible. I'm not a huge headshot damage fan, but... I do love me some crit, and Grupo will do that for you because with the brand set bonus, you get 15% crit damage. For this one, max weapon damage for the core, crit chance, crit damage with a max crit damage mod, and Vigilance. Vigilance will increase your total weapon damage by 25%. However, if you take damage, you're going to lose that buff for four seconds. All right. Now, the chest piece, gloves, and knee pads are all named items. We have the Sacrifice, the Contractor's Gloves, and the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads. Uh, we'll talk about those in a second. Let's jump over to the Holster, Fenris. Now, the Fenris brand set bonus for this build, 10% AR. For the Attributes, we're max weapon damage for the core and max crit chance crit hit damage. All right, let's talk about the best in slots. Starting with the chest piece, the Sacrifice. This is the named Providence Defense chest with perfect glass cannon. Now, half of you are going to be like, what's perfect glass cannon? And the other half of you are going to be like, I will never use glass cannon. Now, I understand that it does say that the damage you take is amplified by 60%. Yes, but you're already squishy. You're using an all red build. You're already weak. Like when the hunters hit you, it doesn't matter if you have 800k armor or 2 million armor. They're still going to take all your armor away in one to two hits. I don't, what this does is this makes sure that you hit them even harder to where they might not even have a chance to shoot you. And that's what this chess piece is all about. This is all about having more boom in your boomstick. That way they are either getting staggered or going down quicker. And remember those hunters, if you hit them hard enough with a short amount of time, like burst damage, you know what I mean? If you hit them with enough burst damage, they either jump into cover to try to heal or they'll get staggered or try to roll around. And when that happens, it's even easier to get your shots on target and get those uh, shock ammo rounds from the St. Elmo's engine. Now, remember here, perfect glass cannon will amplify all the damage you deal. So even your skills, your grenades, everything you do is amplified by 30%. Highly recommend trying out this build before, you know, just switching back over to Unbreakable. Now, the Sacrifice is a named Providence Defense item. So the Providence Defense brand set bonus for this build, we get 15% headshot damage. For the attributes, this one's max weapon damage for the core, max crit chance, and max crit hit damage with a max crit hit damage mod. Whew, it's a lot of crit. Moving on to the Contractor's Gloves. Now, these are best in slot for gloves because it gives you damage to armor. Now, damage to armor is a multiplicative talent. But remember, not everything has armor. So this will only work with, you know, named enemies, elite enemies, and veteran enemies. Uh, for those red bars or whenever you do take out their armor, this will not be applicable at all. However... Because you are using an assault rifle, the assault rifles all come with health damage at 21%. So even when their armor's gone, you are hitting them for even more damage because you're using an assault rifle. And that 21% health damage really comes in uh, nice at the end. That's where you get all your crazy high damages when you're critting them in the face and they're only at a uh, health. But... Back to the Contractor's Gloves, they are named Petrov, which does give you LMG damage. However, we're not using LMGs, so 
NA for that, right? Non-applicable. For the attributes, we are at max weapon damage for the core. It does give you that armor damage, and then we have max crit hit damage for the bottom attribute. And then finally, the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads. Again, best in slot because this one gives you damage to targets out of cover. Now, that might sound familiar because we have damage to targets out of cover in our assault rifle. So instead of the 10%, we actually get 18% damage to targets out of cover. Now, the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads are named Overlord, which does give us rifle damage, but that's not applicable here either. However, we are using the max weapon damage for the core and the max crit hit damage to go with that damage targets out of cover. And uh, yeah, that's your build. This is the St. Elmo's Engine DPS build that you can use in PvP or PvE. It does not matter. You want damage, this will give you damage. You could use this in the raid. You could use this in legendaries. You could use this in the summit. You can use this in countdown. You can use this in conflict. You can use this anywhere you want. All right, now as far as the skills, I... I'm just sticking to the old Seeker Mind Jammer Pulse. Um, this is just my typical running gun for PvP. And in the PvE gameplay, I'm actually using the exact same setup. I didn't want to change anything for my gameplay just to show you that you can use this in any form of content and still, you know, come out on top. It's pretty crazy. Um, like I said, we're at 1.6 billion damage during Countdown, which was crazy. You can easily hit over 20 million DPS, like, laughingly over there at the targeting range. You can de delete agents in PvP, everything. Now, as far as these skills, you can use whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Decoy, Defender Drone, whatever you feel like at that day. Now, let's finish up with the stats. 115k for the weapon damage, 46k for PvP. We're at 54 crit chance, 188 crit hit damage. Now, this is before the Coyote's Mask. Now, with the Coyote's Mask procs, we can get well over 200% crit hit damage, and we will be at max crit chance. We're at 90% headshot, and then we have armor damage, health damage, and damage to targets out of cover. Going to the offensive tab, we are sitting at 121% all weapons damage bonus and 40% assault rifle damage bonus. So every time we're using the St. Elmo's engine, we are starting off at 161% damage bonus total. For your gear talents, we do have Vigilance on the backpack, Perfect Glass Cannon on that chest, and Pack Instincts for the mask. Defensive tab, we are at 821k for the armor, 343k for the health, and 10% for the explosive and hazard protection, but that is due to my watch level. Now here is my disclaimer for all my build videos. I am sitting at shade level 5145. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now if you are at or above shade level 1000 and you copy and paste my build, you'll get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1000, that means that some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out, and when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers won't add up to mine. It's okay. Don't freak out. It is still a great build to use. Just note that you'll get all these boxes maxed out at shade level 1000, thus giving you the most potential out of your build. Now, that's not a requirement. I'm just recommending you do so just to get the most bang out of your buck. But all right, everyone, that is my St. Elmo's engine dps build you can use this in any content and uh guess what let's uh jump over to the gameplay now if you found this uh video helpful or informative in any way shape or form please hit that thumbs up again i hope you have a great day i am kamikaze von doom and i'll see you in the next one take care everyone peace now uh like they say roll that footage mm -hmm. all right we got this we got this we're only down by one come on Oh, there we go. There we go. We're tied up. Oop, I got your back. I got you. Oh, two more. Two more. Oh, man. He's around the corner. He's hurt, though. Super squishy. Oh, he's picking up his buddy. Ah, come on. Yeah, they're not coming out. Okay. I'm going to go uh, fence. Fence side. There's only two left. Oh, man. This was a great comeback. There's only two left. I see him by the truck. 
Alright, yeah, come on. Come on, Seeker. One left. I got him, I got him. Hey, let's go, dude. Let's go. St. Elmo's for that win, baby. Win. Solid work. Yeah, that was a good comeback. That was a good game. GG's. That was a good game, though. They kept it close. Come on, man. Show us. Hey, there we go. MVP, let's go. Let's see the numbers. Show us the money. Show me the money. All right, MVP. And six, one in one, 13.9 million damage. I think there's a guy under us just throwing a hive. Yeah, he just threw the hive again. Dude, there's a, oh, I see him, I see him. Yo, whoever just pulsed, Boosted thank you. Got him, got him, got him. Hey, sorry about that. Good old Detected. Tabasco. All right. Hostile. Where's the, uh, oh, there's the boost. Going, going. Oh, boost guy on you, man. Hold on. Got him. Where are you going? Nowhere. Wrong alley, bro. Wrong alley. Give me that boost. Allies are acquiring the boost. All right, GG's. The boost has Yeesh. Another mercy roll, man. This thing's getting out of control. I love this weapon. I don't know. This might replace the Eagle Bearer for my favorite. The 70 round magazine is amazing. Hey, MVP. Let's go. Yo, you gotta support the you gotta support the channel. Come on. MVP. Hit that thumbs up. Look at a six and three, twelve point two million damage. I don't know how this one wasn't a mercy rule, but eleven to zero. Thank you. Give me that MVP. Let's go. GG's. GG's. Let's see this one. And another one down, and another one down. Seven, one, and two, 14.5 million damage. I got that weird audio bug for this one. Another one, man, another one. I don't know if everyone knows how long these conflict matches last, but this is just nonstop, just murder she wrote. MVP, let's go. That one was a blowout. I need to back out and get that stupid audio bug out. Ugh. There we go. MVP, let's get it. I think I'm going to just keep going until we lose. 8 and 4, 25.2 million damage. All right, I'm going to um hostile defender drone. I'm going to camp Detected. this one out. I want to see if I can bait anyone. Down. We're down by a few kills, so let me see if I can catch us up a little bit. Here's one guy. And trap set. Bye-bye. Mm, All right. Oop. There's another one. Oh, he ran. He ran away. <laughs> I'll take the boost. I'll take the boost. That dude ran. <laughs> Get it. There's three. There's five. Eight. Eleven. 14, 17, 20. Weird. Hey, look, everyone. 20 million DPS. <laughs> go, go, go. All right, boss. There we go. GG's. GG's. Nope. We have another boss up top. Oh, there he is. He just jumped down. Oh my gosh. Die! There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, the boss is across the way. Oh man. I will go kill him. Yes. St. Elmo's. There we go. And yeah. What's that? Ridgeway's Pride? Oh man. All day with the Ridgeway's Pride. Okay, okay. That's sick. Mm, almost. Come on, we have under two minutes. Yeah, this thing's beaming. Nice. GG's. 
Now get that hive out of there. There you go. Oh, oh, right next to me. Where? There we go. Uh, GG's. Thank you. All right, a few more enemies and we're done. Oh, one more. Nice. Nice. Killed that hunter with a 1.2 million headshot. That was pretty sick. Yeah, GG's. Get him off the uh, rope. Nice. Oh, yeah. Easy pickings. We're making challenging look easy. We're going to have to jump over to Heroic after this. GG's, everyone. Yeah, before we get out, let's uh, let's see what the numbers are going to look like for uh, the end of this challenging, and then we'll compare it to the end of uh, Heroic. All right, helicopter's about to be here. All right. Just want to see the numbers. Because I know in Heroic, I hit way over a billion damage, but challenging, I don't know. They die a lot quicker in challenging. They usually average around 30 something kills. We'll see. Yo, that. <laughs> Yo, that. That, <laughs> that heavy just went down with the quickness. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see the numbers. Come on. And 500 million damage on challenging. So let's, uh, let's try out heroic. Die! Yeah, a lot tank here in Heroic, but we're doing a lot of damage, so it's going to be nice. All right, there's uh, status effects. System back online. So bring in the uh, bring in the shock bullets. Got them. Nice. Ooh, another one right here on the other side of the truck. Heading towards reactor. There he is. Oh no, this is turbine. Oh, he just healed. Oh no, he didn't heal up. Ah, get fucked. Nice. GG's. Hey, patch yourself up, soldier. You're still in the fight. Haha, <laughs> GG's. No, ouch. There we go. Day, day, day. Oh, they keep coming out of this spawn. Yeah, there you go. The foam. 1.6 million. Oh my god, I hit a 1.6 million. Yeesh. That was a few. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, there's boss. All right, let's beam him. 1.3 million. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Nice. Target neutralized. Oh. 1.4 million. Hitting some crazy high numbers. Oop. Oh, you got your hive. Nice. We're good. Almost done here. Secure the area. Few enemies left. There we go. That was 1.8 million. 1.3 million. Two million. One point three million. Yo, we're hitting some crazy high numbers. Let's go. Can't wait to see the uh, end damage. Redirect, redirect. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. 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 Oh my god. No. No. Yo, I'm on the stairs, dude. How did I die? I'm on the stairs. Ah. Come on. Come on. Thank you, thank you. I'll patch myself up, soldier. I I'm still in the fight. GG's, thank you.
1.3 million on that headshot. Let's see. 1.5 million. 1.5 million. 1.5 million. 1.7 million. Oh my god, dude. 1.77 million. I'm hitting 1.7 million. Oop, 1.2. 1 1.3. Dude, these damage numbers. All right, come on. We're almost done here. Come on. Got to clutch it. We got to clutch it. We're less than a minute before we fail. Get these kills. Get these kills. Come on. 1.3 million. 30 seconds. Come on, guys. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Clutch. Clutch. Hey, don't go too far out ahead. Oh, man. Those hunters are going to down you, man. We're not all there. Hold on. Hold on. We're coming. All right. Here's one on the left. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. We got this. Yeah, 1.6 million on that hunter. That was crazy. One point two million. One point two. Oh, that hunter hurts. Oh, we got him, we got him. Nice. Killed him with a one point four million. Go. Got him. Go, go, go. Now nah, we need to call it in, man. This is getting really close. We're less than a minute. Less than a minute. We need to call in the helicopter. They are so damn tanky on heroic. We're almost there. Come on. I'm the only one over here, though. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. I'll, I'll try to call in the helicopter. Even though I'm using perfect glass cannon. <laughs> I got this. It'll be alright. Alright. I'll call in the helicopter. Dude, we're in 30 seconds. Ugh. Oh, get that hunter. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, let me call it in. Yes! Yo, GG's. Yo, this is good. This is a good one. Let's go. <laughs> okay, just uh, some cleanup work here. And we'll look at those uh, damage numbers at the end. Ooh. Need to pop a med kit. Alright, so on challenging, we did like 30 kills and like 500 million damage. I know we've done a lot more in this one, so we'll see. Oh, gotta go. Try to take these, this uh, spawn out before we go. Oh no, 15 seconds. Yeah, we don't have enough time. Come on, come on. Go to the rope, go to the rope. You're gonna miss it, go to the rope. Six seconds. Come on, guys. Come on. Five, four. I'm going. I'm going. All right. Peace out. Yo, I just got on the rope with one second left. Woo, man. All right. You kept the lights on. This entire one point six billion damage. Thank you, Agent. One point six billion. Holy crap. One point six six. My bad. My bad. 49 headshots, 36 shocked, 8 headshot kills. Dang, let's go. GG's. Hit that like, subscribe. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.